Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today we're gonna show you guys, or I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna where they messed up on the 67 with the hydraulic lifters. Why there is so many people are dissatisfied and so many issues with the engine. So, what we have today, this is a from common 67 lifter. One thing, if you noticed it or not, maybe did not notice it, but I want to show you guys the holes. Look at the holes. Guys. What you see next to it, Ford 6.0 lifter. Yes, the ruler itself smaller. A little bit different design. But look at the size of the hole. Look how bigger. So why are you gonna people will say what's what's the matter with the hole? Well, that's how you pressurize hydraulic lifters. They're hydraulic, that's what they call them hydraulics. Size of the hole makes a difference. How fast oil can get there? Look at this power shock. 6.0 or international, the correct way. Look at the size, twice as big. Maybe even bigger than twice. And of course, the sooner you pressurize, the less bouncing around you're gonna have. Less wear and damage on a, on a camshaft and the ruler itself. Because you have oil flowing faster there. But apparently, Cummins decide we're gonna reinvent the wheel. We're going to make as a smaller hole as possible. Well, then that's where we have the problem. So, bad engineering, one thing. People say it's the oil. Others say it's the material, soft metals. Well, first it's a bad engineering. It's not engineered properly. Does the oil make it any better, improves it? Quality of oil always plays an important role of lubrication. It's nice that they put a hole on the side there to allow to get more oil to the rulers. So I took it apart. This is a, a good one, as you can see. There is a one that I took it apart. Not much there, just a hole. So you have a springs, you have a hole that will send the oil through the tubes, push rods. You have this piston that gets pressurized with oil through the hole and will push out. And you have a spring. Not a high compression spring, but enough to, and then you have rulers right there to keep it like a ball bearings. So it's always rolling. So we'll stop there. Let's see if we can do the same thing with RAM. Well, there is no hole, so it's taking it apart the ram or commons. I shouldn't say ram because this is not gas engine, it's a diesel engine. Right, so. so, what's the purpose of this? Looks like just a plug. Not even a plug. For weight reduction or for balancing, I don't know. Why? What was this? What was this initially? In th the intent was for another broken design. There is nothing here. Absolutely nothing here. Just a hole, and they put this plug. Well, I can see this being. This plug, plug being dislodged from vibration, moving up and down, and actually causing it lifter failure. Because this that piece right there adds, serves no purpose except at balance. Make sure the lifter is, you know, balanced. But why, why create this? Why create this hole? For what purpose? Yep. Poor engineering. Wonder where their management is. Why they approve such bad design. Finally, we were able to get this piece out by ups and down and hitting against the uh, wise. So this thing is there. Seems like stuck. Let's see if we can get other components. The plunger.
Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely the big difference. So this is to supply the oil to the uh, tubes. How is the oil being supplied to these tubes? Through those tiny little holes on the side? Interesting. Connecting rods. Well, not connecting rods, uh, the push rods. Yeah, the push rods. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. So as, as of now, we definitely can see two design flaws. This piece, like a plug, that is not a plug, is has no value except it's gonna destroy the, once it's loose, it will destroy, it's not tighter at all. From all the vibration, if the double pin that was known on early 5.9s was able to come out, this thing is no doubt will come out and will cause noise and eventually cause the engine to fail. Took a grinder, cut it out because there is no other way I can see how this thing will come out. That's it. So size of the, not the ruler, but inner part on Ford is much smaller. Rem has bigger. However, oh, let's look at something else. Rem has or comments holes. Ford doesn't have it, but that seems to be Ford doesn't have a problem with with it either. So this versus RAM. RAM is much bigger in size. So let's pull it out. Oh, there is a retainer, retaining ring to prevent from coming out. So is there a bearings? There is no bearings. Are you for real? There is no bearings. No wonder there these things are keep failing. That's a shame. Shame on comments. They really cut the corners. Wow. And I was actually thinking. Actually I was thinking. Maybe upgrading. My 2018 to 23. But. Now looking at it. How in the world. There is no bearing. Absolutely no bearing. So this thing just rides until it fails. How is the oil supposed to get there, especially when cold? That's where the, and such tight clearances too. Wow. Wow. Really bad. This is really bad. Now we know we have three, three reasons. No ruler bearing here. There is no bearings. Design flow number one. Or type number three. Number two, piece of metal for no value. And number three, hole to pressurize hydraulic lifter. It's so small. When it's cold, no wonder people complain. And they have the right to complain. I would be too. It's making such a clunky noise. Well, of course, while well, well, it's cold, it's hard to you, it's hard to pressurize anything when it's cold. How are you supposed to flow such tiny hole? How in the world does the oil supposed to get between this and that inside when you have such tight clearances see how black there is you know why it's black take a guess because it's burning no not, no lubrication and then it sees up the whole thing stops spinning it starts wearing out and then this hole and using a, a piece of metal as a plug why in the world would you create such poor design make something designed specifically for it to fail and gain bad reputation so here's a cut cut out for the ford from the ford same one i have a bunch of them so this is the ram ruler on the ford 
you see shiny you see why it's so black it's burns you know what happens the next stage it locks up once it locks up you know what's the next stage well the ruler is no longer spinning now you just remove metal by metal destroying your camshaft and everything just slowly starts accelerating making noise and metal shavings and eventually engine fails so a ford the one that i took out from, from to show you guys earlier it's the same thing same ruler so it has bearings like she right there so i want to do a cut out you can see there is bearings so, so this ruler is definitely damaged from cutting but at least you can see the the, the, the bearings you see the gap between the bearings well that's how the oil gets there and lubricates that's why they basically if you have oil never fails solid design uh, engineering 101 mechanical engineering one bearings you need to have gaps for oil to to get in and get out to lubricate remove the heat and basically needs to flow if there is no flow that's what you get you get burned and then wears out and locks up right here this is the this is the example prime example of poor engineering bad engineering no engineering well thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe more is coming on this subject